Welcome to the Purpose Chasers Podcast. I'm your host, Mark Crandall. In 2015, I dreaded most of my day-to-day life. I was working unfulfilling jobs, wasting time playing video games, binging on TV, just to get my mind off the fact that I had a calling to do more and to be more. For years, I wanted to write a book, to become a paid speaker, and to empower others to achieve their dreams. In 2016, I took a stand. I invite you now to do the same. As Purpose Chasers, we refuse to settle for average. We chase our dreams, we accomplish our goals, and we support, encourage, and challenge our community to create the lives we want to live. Why have we Purpose Chasers taken this stand? Because life is too short to not live fulfilled. Enjoy this episode and take action. Welcome to episode 45 of the Purpose Chasers podcast. Today's episode is sponsored by New Year's resolutions or BS. I'm just kidding, guys. There's no sponsorships for the Purpose Chasers podcast. I just felt like cracking a joke. I don't know if that landed. But big things, I got to start by this, big things uh, coming for the Purpose Chasers community and the Purpose Chasers brand. I It took 10 months to get the registered trademark for Purpose Chasers. For one, I have no idea why no one has registered the name or had registered the name. And I won it. And it's a, it was a long process, but Purpose Chasers the phrase or the the business, the name, the brand is now mine. Well, it's not mine. It's ours. It's it's our community. It's our brand. So I've been waiting for uh, this trademark to come through to launch a few different things. So we have a Purpose Chasers clothing line that's launching. I have just a gaggle of ideas. I'm not sure if a gaggle is how you describe ideas a flock of ideas, a herd of ideas. Anyways, I have a lot of ideas for shirts and some of you have the original Purpose Chasers uh, podcast shirts. The second editions are on their way to my house. Don't know if I'm going to give any of these away because they're just absolutely amazing. Just kidding. I'm going to give them away, but really, really excited. I wanted to share that win, share that shout out. Uh, The trademark registration is now official so you're going to see the little r next to purpose chasers because i own it we own it so this episode i want to talk about how i believe that new year's resolutions are bullshit um i don't believe in new year's resolutions i don't believe in the hype behind them i don't believe in the intention that people put into them i just don't believe in new year's resolutions and you know, last week we uh, shared an interview that I did with Mr. Hal Elrod himself. He alludes to the fact that, you know, you really don't need a set date to take action to change your life. You just need a structure to do that. And the episode before Mr. Hal Elrod, episode 43, yeah, nailed it, 43 of Purpose Chasers podcast, I laid out the pretty much the number one key to getting clarity and achieving your goals. So I discussed the the scrambled mind and how to do a mind dump and how to do a mind map and how to turn that mind dump and that mind map into clear goals and uh, achieve your goals. Now, there's some key players that come into achieving your goals, which I'm going to discuss in this episode, but I want to start by stating that New Year's resolutions are bullshit, and I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to say that you yourself are bullshit or your intentions are bullshit, but what I am saying is the idea of needing a set day of the year to take action on your goals is just absolute crap. And somehow our society has backed this and made it a thing. So it's a thing in our world now for you to need to set goals for New Year's that most, I would say, I don't even know, I'm going to make up a statistic. I would go out on a limb and say 98% of people don't achieve what they set in the New Year. And here's why. So let's get right into it. Here's why New Year's resolutions are bullshit. Because let's say you want to go to the gym. 
great. You have this um, this fluffy goal of going to the gym with nothing behind it. What do I mean nothing behind it? I mean, you have no game plan. You have no accountability. You have no structure set in place. You have no consequences if you don't fulfill on what it is that you want to fulfill on. There's really nothing in place to ensure that you going to the gym turns into you being a gym member and you achieving your fitness goals. And so the thing behind it, and for those of you who have read Embrace Your Past, Win Your Future, my book, here's a selfless or a selfish plug. It's available on Amazon and Audible if you if you haven't purchased it yet. For the Purpose Chasers community members, if you join the Facebook group, I still have, I think, around five uh, free tokens for Amazon so or for Audible. So if you want a copy of the Audible book, join at the Purpose Chasers on Facebook, join the group, the community, and shoot me a message or write a post and we can get you a copy of the Audible. But in that book, I discuss how individuals, humans as a whole, they need, we need, I need to set goals that have a firm foundation. These goals need to move me past my limiting beliefs. So if I'm going to the gym because I want to live a longer life because I want to be present in my son's life as long as I can, that goal has some depth and weight. If I want to go to the gym because I'm fat, that's not going to last that long because my mind is telling me that I'm fat. And at some point in this little New Year's resolution to go to the gym, my mind's going to tell me I'm fat again. And then it's going to tell me that eating pizza is definitely a better idea than going to hit a CrossFit workout. That's my experience. Is that your experience? So going off of what I share time and time again, Uh, No one lacks motivation. What we lack is the belief in ourselves to fulfill on the things that we want to create in life. And we also lack the clarity and the why to accomplish the things that we want to create in life. So if you are shooting out for a New Year's resolution, I want to stop you. I want to challenge you. And I want to let you know that you can accomplish what it is that you want to accomplish right now. You just need a structure. I'm going to lay that structure out. So the main reason why New Year's resolutions are are bullshit is because people set these intentions of things that they want to do and they don't have any structure for follow through or accountability. So structure for follow through, the actual outline of the goal that you're trying to achieve, the pain behind why you're trying to achieve the goal and the why of why you want to accomplish the goal are the key ingredients that make a New Year's resolution or a resolution or a goal in general achievable. So I set an intention to write a book, right? But I didn't just say I want to write a book. I said I want to write a book. And then what I do, which I've talked about over and over again, is I reverse engineer all the tasks that need to be accomplished for that book to come to life. What do I need to accomplish for that book to get published? So I need to get a cover designed and I need to outline the writing of the book and I need to actually write the book and then I need to have the book edited and then I need to do this and I need to do that and I need to do this. And as I get into doing the things that I actually need to do for this book to come to life, more things come up and I just add them to my task list. But as I'm adding things to my task list, I'm checking things off my task list and Here's the key piece of it. I have accountability. So I have a coach that I work with. I have a a peer group of um, accountability partners. So I'm not just saying I'm going to write this book. I'm I'm saying to my people and to my coach, I'm going to have chapter one, two, and three done by next Friday. I'm saying I'm going to have an editor picked out by the beginning of December. I'm, you know, I'm putting the... I'm putting timestamps, dates on the tasks that need to be completed for the goal to be achieved. So accountability and structure are key to achieving goals. And that is why New Year's resolutions are bullshit, because most people do not have structure and accountability in place to achieve their goals. 
fun fact, short episode. Just wanted to share that with you. And because New Year's is approaching, I want to invite you to join the Purpose Chasers community. And the reason why I created this community is to support, encourage, and challenge the community members to achieve their goals. That's it. That's it. That's the reason behind it. And also because I was getting such an influx of individuals that wanted to work with me in one-on-one coaching that I decided to launch the Purpose Chasers Academy. And with the launch of the Purpose Chasers Academy, my group coaching program, I decided that I needed to launch a Purpose Chasers community. I wanted to build a community of individuals that were chasing purpose, that were committed to achieving what it is that they want to achieve in this life. And the only way that I've found to do that is with a community behind me. My community supports me. It pushes me. My coach is the one who's shining the light down the path, which is which is outlining the accountability, which I'm bringing to my people, right? And that's how you win the game. Most humans, myself included, believe that you just create a goal and then you shoot out there in the promised land of life and you achieve that goal. That is not accurate. And I would challenge you to uh, evaluate your own experience. My experience is that I set a goal and then my mind tells me that I suck and I stop. That's my experience. And so what I found was that I set a goal and then I have an outline of what it's going to take to accomplish that goal. And then I have accountability and I have a coach and my coach guides me, shines the light and my accountability circle says, Hey, Mark, did you get that thing done? No, I didn't. Where did you, where, you know, what happened? Well, my mind told me this and I went this way and I went this way. Okay. What do you need for me to get back on track? Nothing. I'm back on track or I would, I really need an editor or I really need a social media manager. Or, I'm really looking for this. I'm really looking for that. So that is it. And I want to share this because it's a key, key, key piece of this whole equation, which is going to be an upcoming episode. And that is what my business teacher in high school used to say, Mr. Joyce used to say, organization is the key to success. So if your goals are not organized and strategic, you are not going to probably achieve them. Your mind's going to send you down rabbit holes. You're going to be chasing other people's carrots, which was a previous episode of the podcast. You're going to be spinning in a circle is what I call it, chasing your tail. So if you want to actually achieve the things that you have set out to achieve this year, I would encourage you to join at The Purpose Chasers on Facebook. Join the community. It's super active. People are being really, really authentic. They're sharing goals. Uh, I'm about to drop, I'm actually about to drop a link for a free Zoom coaching call that I'm going to do with the community, two hour time cap. I'm going all in and I'm actually going to walk everyone from the Purpose Chasers uh, community that has joined the call. I believe there's 22 or 23 people that have already signed up, and I haven't even really, really pushed it yet. But I'm about to drop a Facebook uh, post today, which won't be today when you listen to this recording, but I digress. And I'm going to be walking them through the mind dump and how to outline their goals coming into the new year. So if that is something that you're interested in, I would recommend joining at the Purpose Chasers on Facebook. The community is popping. New Year's resolutions are bullshit. That's what I wanted to get in here and talk about, but they don't have to be bullshit for you this year. You can set pure, pure intentions with an outlined plan with accountability structure in place and achieve your goals. And if you're somebody like me, and I'm just, I'm not talking to you, I'm talking about myself here. If you're somebody like me who needs much, much more to accomplish what it is that they're out to accomplish, because I'm playing big, and I'm guessing if you're listening to this podcast, you're playing big as well. I needed more. That's why I created the Purpose Chasers Academy. It is a six-week coaching program in which I walk individuals through every single piece that I have outlined in my own life, every Every avenue of your life is going to be mapped out with tasks list, organization, accountability, and structure so that you can achieve what it is that you're out to achieve, which ultimately is chasing purpose. I'm a purpose chaser. You're a purpose chaser. I want to chase purpose. And chasing purpose doesn't happen in the mind. It happens with the feet. So join the Facebook community at The Purpose Chasers. Don't set New Year's resolutions this year. New Year's resolutions are bullshit. Um, Set goals, 
with outline plans and accountability structures in place so that you can achieve what it is that you're out to achieve in 2020. 2020 is going to be the best year of my life, and I want it to be the best year of yours. I will see you on the next episode. I want to thank you for being a part of the Purpose Chasers community and invite you to seek the support that allowed me to take my stand towards creating the life of my dreams. Join our exclusive members-only Facebook group at The Purpose Chasers. Also, follow us on all social media platforms at The Purpose Chasers. Until we connect again, remember to live your life like it's the only one you have because your dreams should never be on hold.